Hey, welcome back everyone to Nikki Loves Books. The great hiatus is over. I had a huge move with all of my books. It was quite the process. Um, I also changed jobs, so very, very hectic, but I'm happy to be back. And so I have a few unboxings to catch up on for Owlcrate. So we got August, September, and October. But no, moving forward, these unboxings will come out as soon as I get the box, the so same day that the box arrives. So hopefully we can get ourselves back on track and let's go ahead and jump into what you actually came here to see and not to hear about my personal life. All right, my booklings, let's open the Owl Cray October 2021 box. So first up, we have the artwork, which on the back side gives us descriptions of the items. And of course, the big thing is the theme. So for Owl Crate October 2021, the theme is Wield Your Blade. First item we got in the box is this 300 piece jigsaw puzzle. It's got some beautiful artwork there. I love the swords. So it says Dre Gomez at underscore Saint Dre never ceases to amaze us with her incredible artwork inspired by the Raven Cycle and Call Down the Hawk. She's created this dreamy piece featuring Hennessy and Ronan for our 300 piece jigsaw puzzle. I really like that background, that moon with the Raven, of course. And those swords, I'm like, I want one. I probably want the fire one. It says Vex to Nightmare. And the blue blade says From Chaos. Very cool jigsaw puzzle. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I was never big into jigsaw puzzles. Like, even as a child, I thought they were terrible um, in the sense that I would get bored. I don't know. I think I need more activity than that, but... Maybe this will change my mind. Maybe actually working on a jigsaw puzzle with someone else. Maybe that could be more fun. Maybe I'll try that. Next item we got is a candle. So it says Kamigoroshi God Slayer. And this is by Flick the Wick. So it says in the description, we're a bit obsessed with the scent that Flick the Wick created for our Shadow of the Fox inspired candle. It's very fitting for Tatsumi's legendary sword, Kamigoroshi. And I actually really enjoyed Shadow of the Fox. Um, look forward to hearing my book review for that book, hopefully coming soon. And it looks like the scent is Persimmon Citrus Nectarine. I have to smell this now. And oh my god. It smells really, really good. Um, I do wish that this was a different color, like maybe an orange or something like that. Um, just because it has a very citrusy smell. But I, I don't even care right now. I'm like, it smells so good. I'm so happy with this. So again, it is a candle by Flick the Wick based on inspiration from Shadow of the Fox book. Which again, really good. Hope you guys see my review about it later. All right, so the next item is an Owl Crate first, I think, as far as I can tell. And it's a box that has a sewing kit inside. So it says, all legends have a spark of truth, Elizabeth Lim. It's an Owl Crate exclusive. On the inside, we got sewing scissors, thread... Tape measure, thumbnail, safety pins, buttons, needles. So it is a full sewing kit. So it says you'll never get caught unprepared for loose buttons or rips again with our sewing kit inspired by Spin the Dawn. Stella Bookish Art designed the Dreamy Tin. It really is a beautiful tin. I'm loving the design. I'm loving all those stars and the moon. 
I think having a sewing kit is actually a really smart idea. I don't know how good I am at sewing, though. Not going to lie. So next up, we have a box that says Owl Crate on it. And it says on the back, not all those who wonder are lost. Add a little of the magic of Middle Earth to your decor with this acrylic display featuring a hand letter red edition of the Riddle of Strider. Designed with love by Sakura Inc. All right, I'm going to open the box. All right, and here is that acrylic display. I am totally loving this. This is so pretty. So we have the white tree of Gondor down here. I love that detail. And then, of course, the shattered blade. So it says... Add a touch of Middle Earth magic to your decor with our Lord of the Rings inspired acrylic display. Sakura inked hand lettered the iconic stanzas from Bilbo's poem in honor of Aragorn. So that poem reads on here, all that is gold does not glitter. Not all those who wonder are lost. The all that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are not reached by the frost. From the ashes... A fire shall be woken, a light from the shadows shall spring, renewed shall be blade that was broken, the crownless again shall be king. Next, we have this beautiful, absolutely beautiful art print. I love this. So, obviously, this is Kylo, Ren, and Rey. So it says, Raylo shippers will swoon over this Ray and Kylo Ren art print illustrated by Gemlin at Gemlin underscore C. It's got us craving a Star Wars marathon. Absolutely. Oh my God. After seeing this art print, I totally want to just go watch all the new Star Wars movies and continue to ship Ray and Kylo Ren. I think they're fantastic. I was... Mm. Not going to do spoilers, but very upset with the ending. Not going to lie. Next up, we do have the enamel pin that comes with each owl crate box. And this was done by Icy Designs and was inspired by the book for the October 2021 owl crate box, which we will get to last because it's the main event. And it says on the pin, the heart is not a weakness. So, let's see if you can get that. I really like these. They're so pretty. So, before we get to the main event, which of course is the book, we have the newsletter that comes with each box. So, each newsletter does come with a small interview with the author of the book for the month, as well as pictures showing the difference between the Owl Crate exclusive cover and the regular cover. This month's newsletter also shows five apps for book lovers. I do like that information. Can never go wrong there. Each month also includes an interview with the vendor, and this month it was Stella Bookish Art. So she is the one who did the tin for the sewing kit. It also includes information about the photo challenge. As well as an owl babble. Which is a live interview with the author. Last up, and I love these, is they do do a Spotify playlist kind of inspired by the theme of the month. So this is A Girl and Her Sword. I'm so excited. I love listening to those. So I really thank Owlcrate for sharing that. And then they also include a list of other releases that they're excited about this month. So we had The Keeper of the Night by... Kaylee Lee Baker. We have Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. Luminous by Mara Rutherford. 
That Dark Infinity by Kate Pentecost. When Night Breaks by Janella and Jealous. Okay. So those are other releases that we're excited about. So, of course, the main event is the book of the month, which is the whole reason why I get Owlcrate. They've introduced me to so many great series and authors. And this month is Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan. It's a beautiful cover. And it says, inspired by Chinese mythology... Jade Fire Gold is brimming with rich magic and an epic slow burn romance. This debut's ferocious action and shadowy intrigue makes it perfect for fans of We Hunt the Flame and Avatar The Last Airbender. Our signed special edition features an exclusive cover with exclusive sprayed edges to match as well as a reversible dusk jacket art from Kim Akdal at pink tofu underscore art and this is just I'm so loving this is so pretty look at that look at those colors this is a beautiful dust jacket underneath the jacket you'll find an exclusive foil case stamp And last but definitely not least, of course, is the author letter to the Owl Crate readers. All right, everyone, that is it for the Owl Crate 2021 unboxing. We, of course, do have a sneak peek for the November 2021 unboxing. And again, remember that that video will come out the day it arrives, I promise. So the theme for the November 2021 Owl Crate box is Dreaming in the Dark. And that box will include an item designed by Book Babe Designs. Very interested in that. So again, the November box theme is Dreaming in the Dark. Thank you all for being here at Nikki Loves Books. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. I would love to know if there's anything I can do differently. I do like doing these videos because I would rather everything be focused on the products and not me on the camera. But of course, you will see me in my videos with my book reviews and book recaps. Hope to see you later.